Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and today I have the fall 2023 box to unbox with you from Fat Fit Fun. So Fat Fit Fun was very gracious and sent me this box for free for my review and my unboxing to share with you. And I'll share with you my full and honest opinion. And I also like to do my um, Meredith values. So that'll be the amount of money that I would be willing to spend for each of the different items in this box. I was able to customize all six categories. So Fat Fit Fun does come with six categories and you get all full size items in the box. And then on top of that, um, they also gave me a coupon code so if you use my coupon code I will get a small commission um, but you can actually save 20% off your seasonal subscription it'll bring your first box down to $47.99 and this fall box actually has a value of up to $300 um, so I did the calculations for what my box is worth and I'll give you that at the end of the video as well so without further ado let me open this up the other great thing is that you also get access to a lot of their sales. They have quite a few sales, so just take a look and kind of keep an eye out on your account. Um, so this is what the inside of the box looks like. It's very full. Oh, there's also some like little gift I wasn't expecting on top. Um, so it looks like this is like a little sample. So Ricola is the throat balm and these are caramel flavored with a liquid center. I've never heard of this. Um, I mean, I like Ricola, so I'm sure I'll like this, but I've never heard of the caramel one. So it's a brand new product, obviously. So thank you to them for throwing this into the box. Um, I think I saw somebody else's video also had it. So I think maybe it's coming in everyone's box, but don't quote me on that. We're going to start with the first item and I think I remember what I chose. This is the first item that I chose from Customization One. So these are actually the Hour Place um, and they make that like famous pan. And these are actually wine glasses. So let me open it. So they had two different sets. One was going to be mismatched and one of them is a matching set. And I definitely chose the matching set because that's more my style. Um, but here, let's just open it up. So they are wrapped really well in here, which I appreciate because I'm obviously not in my um, New York apartment. I'm actually in Minnesota. So I do have to pack all of these into my suitcase on the way back. So um, it's definitely good that they're wrapped up. So I'll just unwrap one. So these are again, the matching set and they're going to be like this kind of mauve pink color. I hope you can see that. Um, and there was also one that was going to be mismatched and it was going to be this pink color and then like kind of a brownish kind of amber color. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's actually quite weighted. Um, I can't tell you, let me see, maybe it'll have it on the box. 12 fluid ounces. So I was going to say, I can't tell you how big they are, but they are 12 fluid ounces. And these are actually pretty nice quality. Um, so let me know if you've also received this and what you thought about it. And there was care instructions, so let me give you that because that's the most important part to me. <laughs> so the care instructions say wash thoroughly before use, made in China, hand wash recommended. So um, I wanted to give you that information because I'm like one who really wants to know if I can put things in the dishwasher and they do recommend to hand wash it. Um, and let's see, it says manufactured for our place, um, but it was made in China. If you're interested in any of that, I feel like some people are very um, picky about certain things. So in terms of the wine glasses, FabFitFun gave it a $50 value. So my Meredith value for those is about $20 just because I feel like $10 a wine glass is like pretty good um, for it. And these feel like pretty good compared to like some of the ones you can buy at like Target and stuff that are cheaper. But the quality of the glass and the thickness seems a little bit more substantial for these than the ones that I touched at Target yesterday. <laughs> I did try this time not to get too many skincare products just because I am overwhelmed with how much skincare products I have. So luckily the Fat Fit Fun box also has um, beauty, skincare, hair care, and then also home and lifestyle things. So I ended up picking a lot of home and lifestyle things this time actually. Um, so these are actually the spice jars. It's a set of two spice jars from Citrine. Um, so I've actually never heard of this brand. I don't know if it's like an influencer brand or something. Let me know. Um, but these are actually two ceramic jars with lids and um, they are each 6.4 ounces. So let's just pop into these. So it does say on the back here that um, wash thoroughly before use and it says that they are dishwasher and microwave safe, but they may get hot in the microwave. So let's open this up. Again, very good packaging. Oh no, there's styrofoam, <laughs> little crinkles all over. Okay, so um, see what I mean? There's like little styrofoam things. So I'm gonna have to bring a vacuum in here, but this is what they look like. So they have kind of like a rough texture. I'm not a huge fan of it actually. It kind of feels sandpapery, um, but the inside is polished and kind of like white in there. Um, has a little bit of a I was gonna say it has a speckled design, but I think that's actually dust. Um, so this is what they look like, and this is the top. So it does have like a little handle thingy. Um, so once you put it on here, I feel like these might be nice in like the bathroom. I know it's a spice jar, but I feel like this is 
a very large jar for spices and um, I feel like this might be good for like q-tips and cotton balls in your guest bathroom or your bathroom I only have one bathroom so it would be nice in my bathroom um, but personally I have a little bit of a small counter space in my bathroom because I live in the city um, so I think maybe I'll have to see if my mom maybe wants these so luckily I'm home to see I apologize if you hear it, the garbage disposal's on downstairs, but that is a $30 value according to FabFitFun. I personally would give it probably about a $10 value, so they do feel a little bit more on like the thinner, sort of less substantial side, um, so that's why I gave it that value. Customization 3 was a little bit hard for me because I think this was the one that I wanted to choose or maybe that was customization 2. I don't remember. There was one that had the Summer Fridays lip balm in it and I really wanted to try that but it was like not available to me when I customized. So I did choose this Euphoria for customization 3 and this is a liquid blush and it supposedly changes colors based on your pH and this one is a $36 value and I gave it probably about a $15 value just based upon like other blushes. I don't really wear blush that much but when I do it's probably about $10. Um, so I'll just give it the benefit of the doubt because these are supposed to be very nice. Um, I have heard things about this and I have been wanting to try it. So when it was available, I was like, oh, may as well try it. So this is what it looks like here. So I don't think it's going to be green on the inside. So let's open it up. Okay, so the um, applicator itself doesn't look green. So I think that greenness is just the outside. So I'm going to give it a go on my hand. It doesn't have a scent, or at least no discernible scent to me. Hmm. <laughs> okay, it's kind of glossy. It's kind of slightly changing a little bit to slightly pink. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll check back in on this. Um, but I was quite interested in trying it out. So since it was already included in the box, um, I figured this was a nice time to try it out. And let me see if I can give you any additional information. It's a color changing blush oil. Um, it's 0.21 fluid ounces or 6.5 mls and it says dab two dots oops i did a swipe so we'll see there um dab two dots on each cheek and blend with brush don't apply directly on lips it says so um it's made in korea and that is about all of the info but here are the ingredients for you i don't know if you can see that the lighting in here is not the best the next item I selected for customization four is actually the KVD liner. Um, so this is the KVD tattoo liner and I know I really like this eyeliner actually. Um, so KVD like changed hands, it's not on your cap on D anymore. Um, but I'm wondering if this um, formula has stayed the same because I remember in high school I really liked the tattoo liner. Um, so I really liked it because the um, formula back then, I don't know if it is now because I haven't tried it in a while, is actually quite waterproof and it didn't budge at all and my eyelids are very oily and my, wa I, like, my eyes water so much because my allergies so I thought I would try this out again um, I'm actually not gonna open it right now just because I have another liner that I'm using up right now um, but this is just what it looks like it feels like basically the same um, I think actually now that I'm saying it out loud um, I think I did get the KVD like birthday gift from Sephora like in 2019 I remember picking it up when I was on vacation and um, I did like the formula still then so I don't know if it's changed um, because I think that they changed the names a couple of times for this brand um, since then so let me know if you've tried it out recently um, but again this one is a $25 value I gave it about a $10 value because um, there's my other holy grail product is $20 usually like Iman one for two packs so um, I gave it like a $10 value <laughs> arbitrarily there um, so I'm very excited to have a refill of this and I'll try it out and let you know if it's still waterproof or not. So this is another home item because um, I don't know this season was just very homey so I really like the fall box usually because it's a lot of like more home lifestyle things so like throws that was in customization one there are a couple of other items that were like um, weekender bags for customization one there were two different patterns and then customization two I think two or three had like a scarf and some like other things like that like more like transitioning into cooler weather um, but again I was just really into the home stuff this time so I went with the darling spring salt and pepper shaker set so it has a salt shaker and a pepper shaker pretty self-explanatory these are ceramic and it says um, hand wash only fragile handle with care wash thoroughly before use and made in China if you're interested okay so also checking in this is turning very pink it's actually a very wearable color I would say but it is still very glossy I don't know if it'll dry down so again this will be the experiment I was gonna say oh it came with salt no this is just like one of those um, desiccant thingies 
Okay, so on the top it says S and P. So um, actually, this is quite nice. That they labeled it because my other one, I was like, do I put the three, um, three holes onto the salt or do I put it onto pepper? And the answer is it depends on regionalisms. So. Um, this is what it looks like. This looks like it'll give a lot of salt and pepper because I like only having two or three little holes where the <laughs> product can come out of. So this looks like it'll uh, be very careful, I think, because otherwise it could be like, you know, a lot out at one time. Um, but I feel like these are really cute, kind of like nice coloring. Um, I like the little dots and speckles on here. And then again, I really like this color actually. Um, I do wish that it was like only mono color. Um, like I wish that the like the beigey color was on the salt and the <laughs> green was on the pepper, but that's probably just me. Um, but these do feel quite nice. Um, I am just only slightly concerned that a lot of salt and pepper are gonna come out when I shake it over the food and stuff when I'm preparing it. Fat the Fun gave this a $25 value. I personally gave like a $5 value because I looked at somewhat similar product at Target yesterday and it was a $5 set. Um, I only saw it because there were a lot of um, college students doing college kind of back to school shopping and they were like talking about it. Um, but yeah, they felt about similar, I would say. So I'd say $5. Okay, the final item here is a lifestyle product. So let me open this up. For a while, I think people were like kind of um, disappointed, I guess, that FabFitFun wasn't really doing that many fit items anymore. Um, I remember that being a thing in like 2020, 2021. Um, so this actually came with a one month subscription to the um, Obey, yeah, the Obey class. So I'm going to definitely be taking advantage of that. Um, but yeah, this is a waist pack or a crossbody. And I have been actually liking the one that I have from Amazon, but the zipper is a little bit finicky on that. Um, something happened when I was traveling that it just like got a little bit misaligned and it does work. I just have to be very careful with it. Um, this one is slightly bigger though. I would say this actually would fit my Kindle. Um, so it's quite big actually. So let me just undo it here. Um, I was reading reviews on Reddit that people were saying that this waist part is a little bit too small. Um, so I would say that if you have like somewhat similar stature to me, um, I wouldn't be super concerned about it. Like, yeah, it's pretty big for me. So again, if you're of my similar stature, um, and then on the waist part, let's see if I can make it smaller. Um, so some people were saying that it wasn't going to fit their waist. Um, I think they said that it was supposed to be like a 29 inch or 39 inch, something like that. Okay, hold on. Okay, you cannot. Okay, so on my other one, I can adjust it when it's on me. This one, it doesn't look like that's possible. So it does have a little bit of a clasp here. So again, I kind of like this actually. It's a lot nicer. It's like softer, kind of uh, puffier. What's the word? It's a little bit more padded. That's the word. Um, but it has a really nice area here. And I do like that the... Um, Compartments are like quite big actually. The zipper's a little bit tougher than my current one. And then on the inside, there's actually a secret compartment here too. So I do like that because like if I'm out and traveling, cause I think this will be a really good travel bag. Um, I would want to put like my important stuff, like very hard to get like in here, you know, um, versus just flo floating around out here on the front. Um, but it does have a nice um, net on the back here, like the mesh, like from a backpack. So it is going to be quite nice and cooling, I would think. Um, so, you know, like when you have the nice backpacks and it's like for <laughs> your back not to get sweaty, it's somewhat similar to that. Cause that is like one of the downsides of my current one is that it travels the heat in there and then it's just like makes you a little bit sweaty in the chest area um so i do think that that'll be nice um so let me see what this is like hold on on a waist pack so i actually don't have any like real body shapes so i don't know if i would put this on as a waist pack just because i feel like it would fall down um but it would be nice and it's pretty comfortable actually here as well um you can't see it sorry it's right there um but let me back up there now you can see it um, but yeah, it is quite nice. I am actually quite appreciative of this because again, it's slightly bigger than the one that I have right now, which actually gets kind of full with like my wallet and my um, phone in it. So it's nice to have something else in here so I can carry like potentially a battery pack and like a charging cable. Um, so let me just actually check on this again. So it is still a little bit glossy, but it's like just a little bit oily. It doesn't really um feel like sticky or anything so i do appreciate that um i do think that this is quite nice i'm kind of excited that i got it but let me go back to the waste pack um so they gave it a 40 dollars value and that would be with i'm guessing the one month free of the exercise so i would probably give it about a 20 dollars value just because that is what i paid for the one from amazon and i feel like even though um 
So I do feel like this one is slightly higher quality than the $20 one I bought on Amazon. So maybe $20 is a little bit low, but I'm just gonna keep it at that just because science. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is going to be the entire box. Um, so I did the calculations and the retail value is $206 for what I chose. Um, and my Meredith value total is $80. So I would get more than my um, $47.99 value out of it. So um, I would have been very happy with this box. Um, but that being said, there are quite a few other options that I could have chosen that were higher value items. I just didn't really see as much of a purpose in my lifestyle. Um, just because again, I have so much other skincare that I get. Um, that I wasn't going to choose it but those like would drastically increase the value of the box just because like um, it was like Murad and like there were some hair care products that were quite pricey as well um, but as you know I don't do much with my hair because it's kind of I don't have much of it um, so yeah anyway that is going to be the entire box for fall 2023 let me know below what you got in your box and what you thought about the box in general and thank you again for watching I oh I forgot to say at the beginning I also forgot to say at the beginning that I am working on getting my like hard drive fixed um it's just going to be a few more weeks but that being said i am in minnesota and i went to the state fair and i my dad wants me to post the state fair information because it's a little bit more pertinent timely sort of information so i'm kind of working on getting that vlog together but we'll see if i can actually push it out and stuff like that so thank you again for watching and i'll see you again soon bye